Why do Russian and Ukrainian girls marry a foreigner? Today this is our tech real life versus stereotypes. Hello everyone, it's Nastya. Today I have top 5 stereotypes uh, about the question why do Russian and Ukrainian girls want to marry a foreigner and uh, not uh, men from Russia and Ukraine. And the first one is that uh, they want just to have papers to obtain a citizenship, uh, they look for a better and easier life abroad and they uh, dream uh, to leave their awful country, uh, for example Russia or Ukraine. But uh, I can say that in real life, not in this stereotype, uh, this is uh, really another point of view of Ukrainian and Russian girls. And uh, the truth is that uh, even being uh, a wife of a foreign man, it's very difficult, it's still uh, very hard and difficult to obtain these uh, foreign papers and citizenship, so why bother? Why marry a man from abroad just to move to obtain these papers, then to divorce and uh, for what? Uh, to obtain papers is also difficult when you are a wife uh, of a foreign man, so uh, also in uh, not every and not each country uh, the level of life is uh, more higher than in Ukraine so leave the awful country um, I can say that we all understand that not in every country we will uh, uh, live like in a dream so and uh, also I can say that uh, you should understand that uh, Ukrainian and Russian girls who move to your native country they uh, leave their relatives friends their mentality their traditions uh, their parents their friends etc uh, they leave it in their native country so it's a harder uh, life and uh, probably uh, for some uh, first months or even years it's a worse uh, life for them when they leave all this just to live with you. So this easier and better life is really a stereotype. <laughs> The second stereotyped reason uh, is that uh, Ukrainian and Russian girls just do not want to work uh, in Russia or Ukraine. They uh, want to uh, have a wealthy husband abroad uh, and uh, really not to work, uh, buy uh, all that uh, they want to buy, all that they see, uh, drink and eat in restaurants, uh, so doing nothing and enjoy life uh, for the money of their wealthy husband. <laughs> So I can say that in real life, according to statistics, uh, and I've already said it in my previous videos, that more than a half of women who move abroad uh, to marry a foreigner, they start to work here. Uh, they start uh, to uh, rather continue in education and then work, or uh, immediately they find uh, some job not to be uh, uh, only at home and that's all. So I can say that not to work, it's not the reason. <laughs> And also about uh, wasting money on uh, everything and uh, to buy, eat, uh, drink, etc. Uh, for the money of their wealthy husband. I can say that uh, I know uh, really many examples when uh, Russia or Ukrainian girl and her family is more wealthy than, the, uh, than the, her foreign husband. So these cases are also omnipresent. Uh, and also I can uh, say um, that um, uh, Ukrainian girls are not spoiled uh, by some shopping, uh, they uh, not uh, uh, run uh, for some brands, uh, for something uh, uh, wealthy, rich, etc. So they are not spoiled and they can uh, really ensure uh, their uh, financial independence for themselves. So being with a man only uh, for his money and without emotions, it's not about Ukrainian or Russian girls. They won't sell them and uh, they do not want to be uh, bought by uh, uh, some foreign men, so it's not our mentality. <laughs> And also I've heard uh, about uh, the stereotype uh, that uh, foreign men, uh, uh, very often they say that uh, ah, I know you uh, want uh, just to live uh, in my villa by the ocean, uh, that uh, you want uh, really uh, this uh, celebrity life uh, when you have a uh, good view, when you live really by the ocean, uh, in uh, a wealthy villa, etc, etc. But I can say that um, even if it's like that, uh, Russian and Ukrainian girls 
because they never know uh, where they move, uh, what is waiting for them uh, there abroad. So really they follow their emotions and not some financial plan and strategy. So even if you have uh, all this wealthy stuff, we do not know where we move. We move uh, to you, but not to your villa or something that we uh, cannot even know uh, if it does exist really. So we do not know if it exists or not, if you are poor or if you are wealthy. Really when we move, uh, for us it's something really scary, but if we f follow our emotions, uh, it doesn't matter where do you live. So all your villas and oceans, uh, we are not sure that you have all this, but if we love a person, we can move uh, everywhere. So you uh, should understand that it's rather emotions and feelings uh, and something sensitive, but not uh, your money or something uh, that you have in your native country. Or probably not. <laughs> And also one uh, funny uh, thing, it's uh, that uh, really uh, in Russia and in Ukraine we have awful men uh, and we want to uh, go away, run away from our alcoholics uh, who uh, always uh, punish uh, us, etc, uh, etc. Et and we want uh, this uh, um, husband uh, who will uh, uh, not drink, uh, not uh, offense us, etc, etc, not insult us. But I can say that uh, uh, one more time, we uh, cannot uh, know, we never know uh, what is your character until we live together uh, for some years, uh, really, because uh, uh, it's uh, uh, first of all a little bit hyperbolized that all Russian Ukrainian uh, men are alcoholics, uh, uh, and uh, the same thing can occur with a foreigner. He can also drink a lot, for example, and uh, we will never know, uh, and or he can be really cruel or rude, uh, and he probably, and I know such situations, uh, he can offense or or insult us and we will never know until really we live for some years together. So this is uh, really uh, the thing that uh, you cannot judge from the first conversation, from the first meeting. So really the stereotypes uh, it, it, it is not true. So uh, after watching this video I ask you to write down in comments uh, what do you think? Uh, what are the main reasons, or probably the one uh, reason, why uh, still Ukrainian and Russian girls uh, uh, look for and uh, find uh, and choose foreign men uh, for marrying, and uh, not really in, in, in not in all situations, but in some situations, not uh, Russian or Ukrainian men. It will be really interesting to see your point of view about this question. So for today, that's all. I thank you for your attention. If you still have questions, you can ask me on my Facebook profile. Email address. Also subscribe to my channel not to miss some interesting and important videos and information. Thank you for your attention and see you soon!